What is a lower third? Now this is a question I'm asked constantly. Lower third is a term for these kind of things here, the, the graphics that pop up at the bottom. They could be names, they could be call to actions, they could be subscribe buttons. They are important graphics that overlay a video. Why would you use a lower third? Well, it's something visual. Okay, I could be stood here and I could tell you there's a video in the description down below. I could tell you to like this video because it helps me in the YouTube algorithm. It shares it out to other people that need to learn this information. We can educate the world by you simply pressing like. I could ask you to leave a comment down below telling me if you know what a lower third is or how you add your own lower thirds, that kind of thing. And I could put a little comment box here. The graphics help prompt people. If there's nothing there, then maybe people tune out. Okay, if you've got a little lower third that maybe even makes a little noise, a ping, a ting, a whoosh, okay, it pulls people back into a video. And if your video is two, three, four, five minutes long, okay, they may already have your attention, but if it's six, seven, 10 minutes long, a ping or a pop might pull people back to the video in itself. It also helps annotate that video. If I've got a guest and there's somebody else talking, you can see my name and their name. If I'm talking about specific things, maybe I can use subtext here to kind of pad out the information a little bit. Now, how would I add lower thirds? Well, I use Adobe Premiere Pro and it's as simple as finding the lower third, either purchasing it from somewhere like Fiverr as a motion graphic file or a Mogut, or you can go to the graphics tab, search for a specific lower third, click, drag, line it up, and then it's there. My lower thirds I've got from the underdog people in which there's a link in the description down below and they, they do all these wonderful graphics that pop up and tell you to subscribe and like. They're simple, they're one click, the drag and drop, perfect. But overall, it can really help your retention. And retention is a great way to beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to know how to do that, as a small YouTuber, there's a video here.